welcome back to my channel it's me zoe and yeah in today's video i have a little sephora haul as well as an ulta haul from the sephora 50 percent off days and then which are still going right now and the ulta 21 days of beauty which i believe is also still going on right now so i'm not really 100 percent sure because i should be uploading this on thursday um i don't know what day thursday is but yeah, Thursday. So maybe it'll still be going on. I'm not sure, but these are the items I picked up from the sale. I don't think I'll be picking up anything else. Um, if I do, I will let you know and I'll film a video for it and upload it on the same day. Um, but so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. I'll start off with the Sephora stuff. I also have a few really exciting finds I found at TJ Maxx that I'm very happy about. And then I'm going to my Ulta ones. So yeah, I did end up picking up I have three things at Sephora. The first one was a face mask from the Sephora collection. I already used that, so I'm not going to show that. But um, I saw that um, Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani was 50% uh, off all of the products, I believe, or almost all of them. And a lot of them came out of really good prices, and some of these items had really good reviews. So I decided to pick up a few. So the first thing is something I've already tried and used quite a few times. This is the Give Beauty Dewy Plump collagen teak cheek tint so really cute like checkered design this is in the shade marigolds um this is 0.27 fluid ounces and it's originally 26 but i got it for 13 dollars. that was a really or maybe 24 and i got it for 12 no i think you got it for 13 i was going between this and the lip glosses but none of the lip glosses had like um they weren't sheer and something they didn't have shimmer i like like a medium sheer shimmery gloss they were all pretty opaque and i don't really like that in a gloss so it's not my favorite type of gloss and so i decided to get a blush i don't have any liquid blushes currently i only have a cream blush and then i think three powder ones but i really love this i'm actually wearing it today on my cheeks and also blended into my eyelids um i have worn it on my lips as well before and it's nice as like a lip tint um but yeah so i'll show you guys the shade so this is what it looks like. I would describe it as like a peachy, orangey blush. I'll put some on my hand here. Um, and I really like it on my skin tone. So that's what it looks like. It's like a peachy, orangey shade. So I really do um, like how it looks. So very happy about this, honestly. If I went back um, to Sephora and they still have this 50% off, I might consider getting the Marigold's color of the lip gloss and another blush because they're just really pretty. So, yeah, I really do like it. I like the formula a lot. It's easy to blend out. You can make it sheer or more like full coverage of blush. So, yeah, really happy about that one. I also picked up a mascara. I can't give up a good mascara deal. So, this is the Give Beauty Can't Stop Searing Lengthening and Lifting Mascara in the shade. I think it's just the regular black shade. I don't think they have any other shades. Um, but this was originally $20 and I got it for $10. So it's a really good deal. This is what it looks like. The uh, tube is like a nice like metal. And I'm not actually going to open it because I don't want to um, have it be a used mascara. Because I have two that I'm currently working on right now. Yeah, very excited for this one. Um, the bristles are plastic, as like the promotional photos um, show. That's what they showed. So, and like the, it's like a flat, or like a regular plastic bristle with a little like bristle ball at the top. So I don't know how that's going to work, but I did want to try out a good or well-priced mascara. So I got that one. Um, moving on to the other things that I got at TJ Maxx and Walmart. I did pick up another of my Hanhu blemish patches. Love these. They're the best. Um, from, that was from Walmart. From TJ Maxx, I picked up the Holika Holika Gold Kiwi Vita C Plus Brightening Serum. I usually get the um, Good Molecules Brightening Serum thing. Um, or the Dark Spot Serum, whatever, same thing. Um, but I wanted to try something else, and so this is it's good for dark spots and blemish care. So $6.99 for a 1.52 fluid ounce bottle, so I thought that was a good deal to try that out. I also picked up some hair vitamins. These are the Viviscal Hair Self Care 
vitamins. They were three dollars. Um, I don't think they're expired or anything. No, they're not. They're good till February of 2025. So well, I take this to help with go. your care stuff. The last thing I got from PJ Maxx, which is really, really exciting. This is a perfume. So this is the Praline and Pistachio perfume. I have been I haven't I don't go to TJ Maxx that often, maybe twice a month, but every time I go, I always look for this and I finally, finally found it. So it was $16.99. Uh yeah, it smells amazing. I have sprayed it before. I really tested it in store and wow. So it is an amazing sweet praline scent with a hint of the nuttiness. It's absolutely beautiful. And honestly, it kind of reminds me of Toasted Praline and Pear from Bath Mudderworks, just minus the pear. So I love it so much because that was one of my favorite fall scents that Beth Marys has ever made and they won't ever bring it back like I feel like I got that like five years ago and they still haven't brought it back which is crazy because I feel like a lot of people loved that but this one's very similar to it but minus um the, the pair so very very happy that I picked this up okay so moving on to my Ulta box I picked up a lot of hair care items from the Bondi Boost brand because their entire like uh, HG line and their Pro Capital line were 50% off. So yeah, got really good deals on these, which I'll go over. So the first one is the Pro Capital, Pro Capital Scalp Tonic. So I have one of these already. I paid, I think it was 22 for it. Um, and so this was $11 because it's 50% off. So it's like a little spray you spray on your scalp and it helps with hair growth and hair thickness so sorry the perfume smells really good um yeah i got that because i like the one that i've been using now i feel like it's been improving the appearance of the hair thickness but also um it hasn't like caused more hair shedding or anything so it might work it might not but anyways um it's good for your hair because pro cap will help with hair growth so got another one of those because i like it so far I also picked up the intensive spray so I believe this is like a it says I think it was aloe and rosemary spray to help with hair growth yeah so yeah it helps nourish your scalp which helps with hair growth so I got this one as well I believe this one was ten dollars so it was $20 originally and I really um, do like the Bondi Boost brand so far um, as far as the things I've tried I also picked up their HD dry shampoo, which the cap came broken. So this thing is fine with the cap came broken. I'm not happy with that. I don't know how that cap even was broken in the box because I feel like they should have packed it well enough that it didn't break. But this is a dry shampoo with rosemary oil. Um, I also, I feel like this one was like also $10, 10 or $12, something like that. So the original price would have either been 20 or 24 but uh, yeah, I love um, trying out new dry shampoos because the one I have currently from the Monday brand is not great. It kind of leaves like a thick, crunchy feeling in your hair. And so I use it very sparingly. So I wanted to get a new one to see how I like it. And then I grabbed a shampoo conditioner set. So this is the Bondi Boost HG Shampoo with Rosemary Peppermint, Rodenicil, and Procapil. And the conditioner of the same thing. So I believe these were $12 a piece for a 10.14 fluid ounce bottle. So I don't go through conditioner very fast or shampoo very fast. I go through conditioner even less actually because um, I, I wash my hair every two or three days. Um, and sometimes I forget to use conditioner because I'm in a hurry, <laughs> but that's beside the point. I probably should use conditioner more often, honestly. But um, yeah, I like this has the rosemary, which is, and the Procapil, which is good for hair growth. So I'll be trying these out once I use up the shampoo and conditioner that is currently in my shower. So yeah, that was everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you um, shopped any of these sales, what you got. Um, yeah, so thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you later.